everyone. It's Tamara at True Connection, your dating and relationship coach with a funny, <laughs> it's kind of funny, sort of funny story about my dating life. Okay, so we're sightseeing. This guy and I have been seeing each other for a while and I love traveling with someone because you learn so much and you really learn a lot more about your compatibility, right? So this is really good timing for us. <laughs> okay. This guy is a chatty Kathy. Oh my goodness. Chat, chat, chat. And I love, you know, to make conversation, but I also like to just take stuff in when you're sightseeing. There's so much to see and absorb and people watching. And if you're at a museum or just walking through, you know, the streets or shops or restaurants, you know, menus. Oh my gosh. There's so much to explore. I love it. I love traveling. Oh my goodness. This guy talked all the way three hour drive all the way there then he talked the whole time every second we're in a restaurant every second we're walking down the street every second that we are together oh my i i honestly was really physically and emotionally drained by this like i couldn't wait to get home we were going to be in this location for three days and i was wiped out after the first day. There was no way for me to just escape and kind of regather my energy and kind of get my marbles back and just kind of settle and, and kind of get some peace and balance, right? I mean, it, it was really hard on me. <laughs> I, could, I, bet, I bet I didn't even have to talk, I bet. Okay, so here's what I tried. I'm like, I... I got to the end of my rope on the end of the second day. I'm like, I really just, I couldn't enjoy this trip at all. Because of the chatter, I couldn't absorb what we were seeing, the culture, what we were doing, or any of the sites, talking and asking advice of other people about what to see and do and where to eat. So here's what I did the end of the second night. I said, let's just try something. Because, I, okay, I'm trying to maneuver this, right? I've tried some different things to try to get him to settle and be quiet. We get to, it's like a, a lit up zoo in the evening. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. So I said, let's just try this. Let's just see if we can just take it all in and absorb it by not talking the whole time we're in there. Let's just see how it feels and so we can really experience it. He did it, you guys. He was quiet the whole time, the whole hour and a half or however long we're in there. It was blissful and I was able to enjoy myself. Ah. <gasps> oh. What an amazing break. That was the best idea. That was just God given that idea, right? <laughs> ah, I couldn't wait to get home though, you guys. I almost leaped out of the car and ran into my house when I got home. Woo! Yeah, another major bullet dodged. That was a freaky weekend. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>